What's going on guys and welcome back. Today I'm actually going to show you my phone mirror link feature in my W204 that has been integrated into this factory system so that I can keep the factory screen without having to upgrade it and also I wanted to show you some of the features that it has to offer and the endless possibilities that you can actually have when you can actually get a phone mirror link feature. Also if you do decide to get this feature you have to be aware that you are going to have to buy a video slash audio multimedia interface module in order to allow you to connect multiple video inputs to your factory system because as you know the W204 only has one FACRA cable which is a video cable and most likely that's going to be taken up by a reverse camera if you have a reverse camera now nowadays everybody needs a reverse camera so it's very important that I, b I truly believe that everyone out there needs to get a reverse camera and with how cheap they are these days I mean come on guys it's like what thirty dollars and you can install it yourself so easily there are numerous videos showing you how to do it so go out there install a, a, a reverse camera on your car and get that safety happening you know there's nothing more important than safety guys so you know check out this video see if you actually want to um, get something like this installed in your car so before we get into the demonstration I just wanted to tell you that it's actually connected through the auxiliary plug so because my car has the multimedia interface where you can switch the different uh, inputs so you can have either the iPod or the auxiliary or I think it's a uh, phone adapter I have to stream it through auxiliary so in order to do that I have to go to audio and also go to auxiliary but not only that I also have to go to video and make sure that is in auxiliary as well that only then will the sound come out of the system okay and now we just go into uh, press back on the steering wheel and then we go into the syncing screen and as you can see you probably can't see closely but I'll give you a close-up in a second you, there's an IP address a hotspot address and there's a pin number so all you have to do on your phone is go to well on the Android you go to smart view so this is the Samsung Galaxy S9 but normally when you pull down your box you actually have a smart view uh, option but this one is actually just here smart things and you just press on the smart view connection and then you see the hotspot comes up now remember I do stress that you can only do this if you have data on your phone or you have a Wi-Fi connection so that's very important if you don't have cellular data or mobile phone data then you won't be able to sync it because it takes data and then you simply press on the hotspot and then you'll see the screen shrink for a second and come back it's very quick just a split second there we go right there and now I know that it's going to connect now there you have it guys look how good that is now from here you can do so much okay so we're gonna go into YouTube first and there we go here we go guys check this out look at look at that and the quality is actually very decent here you go okay and now I'm gonna play some music so that you guys can see what it's like to have music there we go and then you have your phone on full maximum and you can turn your music up on your stereo and it's very decent sound it's not just because it's connected through auxiliary doesn't mean it's really low volume it's actually pretty loud I know that some of you W204 owners out there are complaining about how the auxiliary is very low volume but for some reason I've never had that problem I've never needed to use an auxiliary amplifier I've just played music through the auxiliary and it's extremely loud no no distortion as well guys none at all and see even when my screen locks even when my screen locks it's still playing so that's absolutely fantastic that's what I love now I can actually go and when you go into reverse obviously you will switch to the reverse screen and now we go back into park and it just switches back so you don't have to worry about always uh, selecting it again you know you don't have that problem it's absolutely fantastic the possibilities are endless with this with this uh, mirror link feature also another cool thing is you can use any maps you want so I always use Google Maps because I think it's uh, very accurate and it's always updated frequently live updating actually and then you just use your maps and it's it's fantastic honestly look at that look how clear that is you know 
I know some of you are probably worried that you know it's really bad quality but it's actually connected through auxiliary but the actual connection is HDMI also something else I wanted to show you another endless possibility is Netflix there's no words for that I mean be able to be able to stream movies while you're in the car is a whole new ball game I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, why did I get this? Why don't I just get the 10.25 Android screen? Well, let me explain why. Honestly, in my personal and honest opinion, I love the fact that this screen flips out and it can hide again. Rather than having an iPad-like screen that's constantly there, 10.25 inches, sometimes it just gives other people more reasons to break your car window thinking that it's an iPad or if they want to take it. Now, don't get me wrong, that 10.25 inch screen is absolutely marvelous. It does everything that you absolutely needed to do. But if you're like me and you personally enjoy the flip out screen and how it works, the functionality of it, how it comes out, the way it appears, then this is something that you can consider. I really did love this when I first got it and I still do. I love this feature so much now because as you can see, the possibilities are absolutely endless and now, I've always wanted digital radio. Now, as you all know, I have now installed digital radio in my car. However, I could have easily just had digital radio the whole time. But in Australia, we have digital radio. Now, you know, don't mind me, but I'm actually getting pretty old. So, like, I actually like to listen to, like, old people talking. <laughs> I know that might seem weird for you guys. Don't get me wrong. I still listen to a lot of hip-hop and, you know, rock and roll and stuff like that. But... I also like to listen to uh, local news so I know what's happening in my city all the time. So one thing I like to listen to is called something called 3AW. It's actually a really, really good show. Everybody on it is very knowledgeable. They're really cool people. Okay, here we go, 3AW. And there you go. It's just old people talking, but it's very, very uh, interesting. And I love hearing about what's happening in today's news. Now. The only disadvantage about this is the fact that you have to use cellular data, mobile phone data. So, you know, if you don't if you're running short on data or you don't have much data, then you know you can't always use this feature. These days, cellular data is so cheap now with all the mobile phone plans and cellular prepaid plans that it's not gonna be a problem. You know, it's like thirty dollars for like a month and you get like 10 gigabytes now if you go through 10 gigabytes then something's wrong with you <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding peace yo nah I just mean like remember to watch everything in moderation and remember to to uh, keep keep track of your data that way you don't one day explode and think what the freak all my data's gone believe me it's happened to me before if you're interested in something like this I can always leave a link in the description below but I'm sure you guys actually know where to get everything but if you don't then be sure to comment below and let me know and I'll be sure to link it for you and show you where you can get it the other disadvantage about this apart from the fact that it uses data is that you actually have to touch your phone so, you know, if you want to do anything, such as change something, you can't just use back or whatever. The only thing you can control is the volume. That's about it. And, so, say I have to get out of the instance, I have to exit. Everything must be done on this, on this phone. So, you know, it's, um, <clears throat> it's kind of annoying, but it's still good. Okay, and now just to uh, give you guys a closer picture of what it may look like. Now this is zooming in, so it probably isn't the best quality, but I will give you another closer look in a minute as I finish. And that's what I love the most. Look at that, guys. You know, I love the fact that it folds in and out, and that's the best thing about it. Now I'm just going to show you exactly what it consists of and try to explain to you how it actually is. Okay, now just to show you exactly what I mean. So another disadvantage that I would actually have to say is that you actually always have to have your auxiliary... Uh, input connected all the time because it actually runs off the auxiliary so you have to plug this in your multimedia interface so as you can see that is your auxiliary plug okay and then that plugs into the auxiliary that comes off this device which is right here as you can see they've made a hole at the top so they can drop the cables down okay and then as you can see there's a USB plug here there's a 480 HD and there's a reset button. I'm telling you, it's the quality is really good still, so it's good enough, believe me. Now, 
when they told me when they installed this they actually told me that I could only use this feature only and if I wanted to switch through to iPhone like you know as you know there's all these different connections so but what I actually did was I can actually still use auxiliary so what I did was I actually put a auxiliary splitter and connected it straight to this and now as you can see I've got a splitter an auxiliary splitter and one goes into this system and then the other one just simply plugs to an auxiliary so I can actually still stream f uh, music without having to use Wi-Fi and still listen to music because I've got and I've also installed this so if you guys ever get that humming noise or you get really bad noise I'd consider using one of these guys it will actually take away all those un unwanted noises and all those buzzing noises so this is actually really really good As you can see I'm actually going to give you a demonstration right now guys okay watch okay so just to show you that I can actually use both by using a um, auxiliary splitter so I can either play music straight off the auxiliary into my phone or whatever device you're using that has a 3.5 mil jack or I can simply mirror it and then I can play whatever I want off the phone so for instance let's go to one of my videos again there we go so how to add bling to your Mercedes IV like so and basically if you're like me and you just want as there much we go. storage as see I had that on full maximum and there was no distortion whatsoever so the Mercedes-Benz system is actually pretty good okay and now I'm going to simply switch to auxiliary so now I'm going to stop casting there we go so the volume's coming out of the phone again and now I'm going to plug in the auxiliary jack and straight away it comes out there you go guys that's how easy it is and that's how good it is the fact that you can use you can actually use either the auxiliary input and play music off your auxiliary that way you're not using any data or any uh, you know cellular data or mobile data or you can just stream it again and simply switch to it like this and there you go it's coming through the speakers again so you know that's how cool this feature is guys so if you really want something like this you know you think about it and if it's something that you think that you like then you know by all means check it out and uh, maybe it's something that you want to get in your car rather than buying that big ass 10.5 2 inch screen but like I said that is actually a very cool screen and you can actually do a lot with it however I love the fact that it's factory integrated and you still keep the standard flip out screen because I actually love this flip out screen I think it's a very cool feature and well there you have it guys the factory integrated phone mirror link feature on your W204 or any car for that matter you can install this on any car all you have to do is make sure that you have the right module and the video interface module so that's also called an audio integration uh, interface so that you can connect multiple uh, multiple video inputs to it and then you can switch to it like I do by pressing the back button and then you can switch through the screens and also because the Fakra cable for the Mercedes-Benz W204 is already taken up by the reverse camera so therefore that's the only video input that you have for the Mercedes-Benz so that's why you need to actually have the audio video media interface multimedia interface therefore you can connect other other devices to it unless you've got an aftermarket screen and you can you already have AV inputs or HDMI then you can actually do it easily however for factory systems and you want to integrate it you do need to buy that other device that allows you to connect multiple video inputs to it which is also called an audio video interface module I'll actually show you a picture right here so this is what it is guys right here okay so just be aware that if you're trying to get this installed in your factory in your car and your factory system then this is a very important module to have and without it you're not going to be able to actually do it well that's all I wanted to show you again today here guys so I really hope you enjoyed this video and it will help you decide whether you want uh, a factory integration or if you just want to upgrade to the 10.25 inch screen now 
there are multiple videos on that and I haven't installed it in my car yet but maybe one day I'll actually get around to it because like I said it is actually a very cool system and it actually does everything you needed to do it's got USB inputs it's got SD card you know it reads multiple things and can show you multiple things off the cluster as well so yes it is a very cool feature so I might just uh, think about getting it installed in the future but for now I'm loving my system the way it is it does everything I needed to do and I seriously cannot complain so again guys thanks very much for watching you guys have been great I really am enjoying your company and to everyone that has subscribed thus far I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart I never thought that I'd even get over 10 subscribers and the fact that we've already gotten to 100 it just touches me and I can't thank you guys enough I really hope that more of you guys will uh, join my channel so that I can show you guys more DIY things also and also some reviews as well because I like doing reviews just to show you guys some of the cool features some of the cool technology that we actually have nowadays thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next video this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs signing off